Delsa was just looking for a spark, something to get it going again to revitalize the school that it was in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s when it was the, one of the preeminent schools in the city. I want to tell you about a school here in New Orleans that was rich in history for decades, but ran into some tough times. And at the time, we didn't uh, know a whole lot about the school and what little we did know about the school. We, you know, we had reservations. People were questioning whether the school should go forward, whether it had a future. Certainly, athletic and academic excellence were in doubt. So the perception outside was that we weren't a very strong academic institution. Our athletic program was probably one of the worst as far as success would be uh, concerned in the state of Louisiana. This story exemplifies what can happen when parents, faculty, and leadership all come together to make excellence the standard. De La Salle has sat here at St. Charles Avenue and it's just been this gem of a school that has been gone unnoticed or taken for granted or maybe not even given the credit that it deserves. Um, it's just been a terrific experience for us with, with all three of our kids and I, I just can't recommend it high enough. I'm a strong believer in De La Salle High School. I'm a graduate of the school and I know how much it meant to me growing up and the effect it had on my life. So much so that I sent both my son and daughter to the school and I saw the same effect it had with them. A renewed vision and focus toward academics has quickly paid off, making it a place parents send their children to succeed. About five years ago, the school started focusing on how kids learn today and using all sorts of uh, media and research and really focusing on how kids think to help them later in life, not just memorizing things, but really how they think and process and obtain information. And I think that, went, that has gone a long way to helping the academic standards of the school, and it changes everything. My daughter is in her second year at Northeastern University in Boston, and she's been on the dean's list the whole time there. And the reason that she is there is because she earned a, a National Merit Scholarship offer from, from Northeastern. And in a large part, it definitely had a lot to do with the education that she was afforded here at De La Salle. My English teacher had great influence on me and um, really opened my mind to writing, just as an art form and as a medium for contributing ideas, for relaying ideas. So as I look into the future academically for De La Salle, I, could, I think we continue the La Salle mission. I think certainly we continue the aspects of teaching kids how to think. We've seen standardized testing scores go up over the last five years dramatically. I think we'll continue to see that. I think uh, certainly the type of kid that we teach at De La Salle certainly has, will be expanding in the future and growing. We want to prepare these kids for life. I've, I've been continuously amazed at how they're able to find a way to develop the honor students and yet don't leave behind those that are struggling and need more attention. I've ne we've never had a want for a classroom or a class that, that didn't provide for our kids what they needed, what their potential demanded and commanded. The school's emphasis on extracurricular activities, not just athletics, means that students are engaged and De La Salle's student body has taken ownership of the school. We have kids here almost every day of the year, all summer, during breaks, vacations, weekends. They're here involved and they care about their school. They make De La Salle not just an average school, but they take it to the next level. They make De La Salle an excellent place. My son Cameron is my middle child and he's my oldest son. He is 17. Cameron was able to come here to De La Salle in a nurturing environment and he was able to find his own footing, find his own traction. He was never cut off at the knees. He was supported uh, and he is very well prepared and now he's got a lot more, he's got more confidence than he had then. I think he's, he's very sure of himself. 
He's been prepared appropriately. There's something for every student to get involved in here. And it really shows our, the number of students that are involved here. We have more than two-thirds of our students that are involved in some extracurricular, and that does not include athletics. I drop my son Jensen off at band practice at 6.45 every day. Some days he, he gets out and there's a basketball game in the afternoon or a football game that evening, and they don't even bother coming home. He'd prefer to be here. And that's one of the things that makes Dallas Hall excellent is that the kids go out and do it on their own. They're not waiting for people to tell them what to do. They're not waiting for that push. They have the drive within themselves to, to be better, to be the best. They want to win. De La Salle's athletic programs have thrived, bringing with them excitement, passion, and pride. Not just for the campus and the student body, but also for the alumni base and the entire community. Really, my first sports heroes were, were uh, not players on the Saints, or LSU, it was De La Salle. Uh, when I was playing ball, I wanted to be Jordy Holtberg or Frank Wills. So uh, to get a chance to come to De La Salle and participate in, in the baseball program, in the basketball program, and to see the basketball program win a state championship when I was here, uh, obviously meant a lot to me. Athletics was a big part of my life growing up and certainly formulated who I am today. I think a well-rounded student is involved in all aspects of life at De La Salle. Glenn Gibo transferred to De La Salle in 2013 looking for a better fit. De La Salle made me overachieve my goals. I thought I was just going to come here, go to school, and that would be it, make some friends. But instead, I made brothers with the rest of the team and the baseball team. I excelled in the classroom and on the field, and I love where I go, and I love where I am in my life right now. Glenn is a perfect example of why uh, those of us who teach and coach uh, and work in schools are why we do it. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch Glenn grow in to go from being a young boy into a, a young man. He is a tremendous leader. He was one of those young men that joined our wrestling program. I don't think when he came to Del Sal he saw himself as a wrestler, but he joined that program and became a state champion. Every time I turn around, they're winning a championship or doing, or doing something they haven't done in 20 or 30 or 40 years. They won the state wrestling tournament. The crowds for the wrestling meet were incredible. The crowds for the basketball game were incredible. The football game, the parent support at the school is incredible as well. So what they've done and that athletic staff, I would put up against any athletic staff in the city. I think those coaches are terrific. Let's go. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Hard. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Dill South football. Dillon one of the things that's happened over the last five years is our, our girls' athletic program was able to put up their first banner in the gym. Our 2011 volleyball team finished state runner-up. They were ranked number two in the state. Uh, there was a lot of pride around that. You can't have um, just great coaches. They have to be teachers and you have to plan for it. The word we use a lot is intentional. So the coach prepares um, not only a practice plan to uh, improve skill development in our athletes, but they plan for the values and the character traits that we want to teach. Let's compete, let's go. We compete with the best schools out there. We won a state championship, and I think now it's a night and day difference from when I started. De La Salle's student body um, and their faculty, they're just, they're just phenomenal. They've been terrific for us. I've been affiliated with the school now for uh, seven years since my daughter was uh, um, in eighth grade years ago. The faculty has just, has just been absolutely terrific. They really care for these kids. Uh, it shows every day. Uh, they, they know the parents, they know the children, they know their names. Uh, they know what their strengths are, their weaknesses are, and, and it's, it's, it's very much a team mentality and it's been terrific. But being the athletic director for the past five years, it's been a great source of pride to help return the athletic department to a point of excellence. I can tell you financially, the school was on a sound footing. Uh, part of it's because of donations. 
but part of it's because of the enrollment increasing. Um, the faculty that we have today certainly manages to a budget in a very professional manner and held accountable by the Board of Trustees as well as the uh, brothers. The school is in a strong position today and that's because of uh, alumni, because of parents, because of the annual giving programs that we have. That's a big part of the school's success. As you can see, with the school in excellent hands and all measurements pointing in the right direction, De La Salle's future looks brighter than ever. I'm excited about the school and I'm excited about the future of the school, so much so that I'm really looking forward to my grandkids attending De La Salle High School in the future. Continuing the excellence on the avenue, De La Salle, lead on.